and welcome to my channel. My name's Nicole and here on We Mama I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos. So if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. Today's video as you can tell by the title is going to be a what's in my first aid box. I know some people may be thinking you know you're really scraping the barrel with like ideas but I saw Emily Norris do this uh, on her channel. I've got a really nice like first aid tin that I bought off of Amazon and I think I bought it about a year or two ago and I've just crammed everything in it. As you can tell, the lid like doesn't even fit onto it. So it's full of God knows what. Every product in there is probably expired. I don't know how long most of it has been in there. But on this channel, I do like to do some organizational videos and I just thought as it did need a good sorting out, I would just film it. And you can see what is in a family of fours first aid kit. There might be some things that I need to add to it. I, most of my medicines are kept in the fridge, you know, like Calpol for my little boy, things like that. But the majority of it, if it is like health related, it's usually in this box. So let's get straight into it. And as you can probably tell, the lighting here is horrendous. Um, this is like the only spot in my house where I actually kind of get natural light. And we've got like a huge bush that really needs a uh, trimming out of our window so yeah it casts all kinds of lovely shadows but I haven't got the equipment to kind of correct it I'll try and edit it as best as I can right so first up uh, I'll just explain about the box so it's a really nice box when I ordered this off of Amazon I'm not entirely sure how much it was I think it could have been around 15 pound 20 pound and when it arrived I was really annoyed because I was like that's huge I'm not going to use it now, I can't fit anything into it, so I'm actually kind of glad that it's this size because, uh, of course, I've just got like huge bottles and stuff like that. And it also comes um, with like a lift out compartment and a big spacious tub, which, as you can see, is full of full of bubbles. So, let's have a look, shall we? I can already see some random bits in there. So, first up, I've got an approxim. Oh, that's for me. Oh, I think this was when I uh, hurt my shoulder. That can go in the bin. I no longer need that. Um, a bag of honey lemon menthol sweets with just one in it. I've got a few things of sun cream. This is annoying because this is like a full one. Will that be able to last all next year? I've got a Boots one and a Nivea one. Uh, I really like the spray ones. I feel like... They're just easier to use when you've got a toddler who's trying to run away from you. To go with that, I've also got after sun, some aloe vera gel. I don't really like this stuff. It's like neon green, but I think we were in a pinch, so we grabbed that. This is the one that I tend to like to use, which is an organic uh, aloe vera gel. Uh, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But first of all, let's just dig in. Yeah, so I've got mints. I don't know why I've got mints in there. Uh, oh. Here are the rest of the sweets. Next up is Savlon. This is something that I've always had in a first aid kit, even when I was a kid growing up. Um, we just tend to use this on cuts and burns. It's just an antiseptic cream. I'm sure I'm gonna need this in years to come when my little boy is like falling over and scraping his knees. And my daughter, because if she's anything like me, she will need this. Bongella. Uh, my husband, I think, gets quite a few mouth ulcers, so that's a must. A lighter, more naproxen, that can go in the bin. Ibuprofen, this is like ibuprofen and paracetamol. These are like the two things that I only tend to use when I really need to, and they're the only thing that I don't kind of have. I'm gonna put those on top when I can. I'm gonna put those in this top section so they're easy to reach. I've got a very small bandage. Gaviscon, this is a must in my house. My husband gets very bad heartburn. I've never had heartburn, even when I was pregnant. I've never had it. Oh, sweets everywhere. Then I have a number of plasters. I've also got little nipple plasters. Uh, my husband is a runner, so I think there's a lot of running related things in here. Oh, more plasters. See, everything is just all over the place. So this is why this needs a good sort out teething powders. I tend to use Ashton and Parsons, it's just what I tend to pick up for my little boy. He hasn't needed to use these in a while. Uh, and I also tend to put these in my uh, 
travel first aid kit, which is in the children, which is in the baby's nappy bag. So these are just like, I don't think I could fit all of these in at the time. So this is why I put them in here. And as my little boy, I think he's nearly got all of his teeth now. So we don't tend to use them as often, but uh, I'll link that video down below and show you what's in my little first aid kit. These expire in 22, so I'm gonna hold on to those. Right, I've got everything everywhere. <laughs> This is how my mind works. Um, here we are, we've got a load of ibuprofen and paracetamol. So these are the two most important things. I'm gonna add those other packets in today. This here is distilled witch hazel. So I bought these, bought this and this. So the vira, aloe vera gel and the witch hazel to make postpartum pads, like healing pads. I made it the first time around with my little boy um, and it helped soothe and look after all my bits after giving birth. It was great. I healed so fast, I didn't have any infections and yeah, I just feel like this really worked. I bought these in June this year, 2020, ready for my second birth, but I ended up having a C-section so I didn't need them. So I'm gonna keep these for baby number three, if we have a baby number three. And also, yeah, I'm obviously not going to throw it. They haven't been opened, so let me hold it onto those. I've got another huge bottle of After Sun. I don't know why I've got so much After Sun because it's not like I go on holiday. I've got another packet of teething powder. I've got so much of this naproxen. No, this naproxen was for my husband um, when he had a squash injury. So we've got a lot of naproxen. It's such a waste, isn't it? A load of sports stuff. When my husband does marathons, this is what he takes. Imodium. I don't actually know what Imodium is. Isn't that for diarrhea? One of us must have had diarrhea. There we go. I don't remember having it. <laughs> I'm gonna blame my husband for that. Oh, here we go. Now this was mine. This is, this is Dulcolax. Dulcolax. Um, when I first had my little boy last year, and um, I was terrified after, you know, after giving birth, I was terrified of doing a big poo. So I remember buying some of those. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I don't think I actually used them, but I was prepared. <laughs> oh, I did use them, I used three. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Got loads of like instructions from tablet boxes. That's annoying. More plasters. Codamol. Um, I think this is when we both hurt our arms and that sprained his ankle. I'll keep those just in case. The world's smallest panty liner. Who uses that? I don't. TCP is any um, first aid box complete without TCP. My grand's bathroom used to stink of this as a kid and it's kind of scarred me for life. Some more um, things for my husband, more nipple plasters for his running. There are so many nipple plasters, my God. You'd think he'd have like 10 nipples. So many plasters. Considering we don't really use plasters, we've got a lot. Right, the only thing I use plasters for is for if I've got like a blister. Like if we cut our hands, we don't tend to use plasters, we just like it heal with the ink. We've got so many. Uh, I've also got Pyroton. Um, I can't remember why we got that because no, no one, none of us have any allergies. Oh God, more sweets. Um, again, these ones are Halls, extra strong. My husband, I don't tend to like like sweets when I've got like a sore throat, but my husband does. So I really like this stuff, deep freeze and deep heat. Uh, I actually used this a lot with my, with my second pregnancy and um, I was quite achy and I feel like this really touched the spot compared to the DP. Uh, we tend... Oh, bless you. But my husband gets a lot of this because when he was like, running for his aching muscles and things like that. And then I had it for like my pregnancy and my lower back. So we've got a deep freeze, uh, which we need to replace because that's basically empty. I'm going to check that actually because there's nothing in there. And um, we've also got a spray. I can't remember why I bought the spray. And I don't think it works as well as the deep heat cream, but I'll still keep it. So maybe I'll throw it away. Um, 
Volterol. Again, this is like liquid ibuprofen. So my husband likes this for like sports injuries after he works out, things like that. Vapor Vix that expired in 2018. So I'm gonna throw that away. More sweets. Uh, Nurofen, I think this is ibuprofen, isn't it? I've got a lot of ibuprofen. Considering I thought I never have any. More plasters and more cocodamol. I've got a lot of cocodamol. Right, so that is it. So I'm going to pack it in with things that we don't really use that often first. So I'm going to check in all the big bottles because it's coming up to winter now. We don't need sun cream <laughs> or after sun. Mm. Um, I'm not going to be using these anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to keep all the plasters in this little plaster box to keep them all together. We don't tend to use them that often. Um, I'm also going to keep the TCP, the Bongella, the Deep Heat. I'm going to keep all of that in here. And the Bongella, and I'm also going to keep all of the tablets uh, that we don't use that often down here, along with my husband is running stuff because he doesn't really run that much anymore due to work. And so then for this compartment on top, for easy access, I'm going to put all of the cold and flu things. So now you can all go in here because we're going to have lots of colds, I'm sure. Um, and in this front bit, I'm going to put all of uh, okay, I'm going to take out those, paracetamol, oh great, paracetamol, they can all go into one, all in the right packets. I've got my husband's Gaviscon and teething tablets. Uh, there we go, that's everything I'm tossing, just empty boxes, things that we don't need all sorted and organized, ready to go. I really do like this tin. That was really like therapeutic actually. I've been meaning to do that for ages. And I can now close the lid. Oh, oh God, it's really dusty. That is everything. It is a nice little first aid box. Uh, I'm glad, I'm really glad that it came to be this size. I need to find a new place for it because it is just shoved at the bottom of our sink and that's why we can't really reach into it properly and that's why it gets so messy. So I do need to find another place for it, but I'm really happy with that. I know that this might be a little bit of a boring video, but I thought I'd just organize it while I was here and film it. If you did like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. I always reply to comments. I would love it if you could consider subscribing and help support and grow my little channel. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching guys. Bye.